Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah Elizabeth and in today's video I am bringing to you my pre-fall clean with me. We're going to get it done today so I hope that you're ready to get things deeply cleaned and get it ready for the fall and winter seasons. So I am starting off in my son's room. I really wanted to be able to give each room the attention it needs. So this is going to be a mini series on my channel, but I'm starting off in his room simply because it's the quickest room to clean. Now I've said this before, if you visited my channel or any of my videos before, it takes me no time at all to clean his room. And even for a deep clean, it took me about 45 minutes. I did have to film it in two parts because my camera died. So you'll see that a little bit later when I'm vacuuming, but I wanted to make sure I focused here first. First and foremost, I wanted to move a lot of the furniture out of the way. When I do a deep clean, I'm taking things off of walls. Typically, I'm washing down the walls. And that bucket that you saw me with, or that you'll see me with in a little bit, has really, really hot water in it. And in addition to that, it's got a little bit of Dawn soap and a little bit of Fabuloso. And that's what I use to clean the walls, the moldings, um, and typically to clean the radiators. So I don't have my wall tool as of yet, but I do have a microfiber cloth that I just put on my uh, Swiffer dry mop. And that does the trick for now until it comes in. So for the crib, I didn't need to worry about changing out the mattress or the um, the sheets or anything like that because I just did it, but I wanted to make sure I went ahead and dusted everything and got everything ready um, just so that I could put the mattress back in. Typically speaking, I'll change out the sheets if I need to, but since I just did that, I wanted to make sure that the furniture in and of itself got a good clean, and I also wanted to swing it out this way I could vacuum, do the moldings, all that good stuff. So let me know down below how you guys are doing. What are you focusing on in the next few weeks? Are you guys just focusing on summer activities? Is anybody else kind of in, uh, in a pinch or a crunch, I should say, to get things deep cleaned? The only reason why I say that, I'm returning back to work at the end of August. So I am a school nurse, for those of you who don't know. So I'm blessed to say I have the summers off. Um, but we'll be returning back in the end of August and I really want to get the deep cleaning done in my home so I don't have to worry about it in the autumn and winter months. This just allows me to enjoy the season, the time with my family. So that's why I'm breaking it apart and doing it over the next two weeks just so that I'm able to really have a clean home, one less thing to worry about and I can just go about my day and um, focus on going back to work. So one of the next little segments, I'm just cleaning out um, 
my son's little bookcase. I wanted to quickly dust it, take out all the books, and then I'm gonna wipe it down again with the Fabuloso water and Dawn. Um, just so you know, you will see shortly in another clip, I finally have that other bookcase. So there is changes coming to his room. We're just waiting until probably the weekend to make those changes because we're still deciding where we want the bookcase, among other things. So you'll see that in a little bit. So is anybody else ready for the fall season? Um, I would say, hey, yes, I totally 100% am because I am doing the cleaning. But I'm going to be honest, I love summer way too much. When fall officially gets here, I mean, I do start decorating in September. But when the weather officially starts to change, I'll be okay with it. But I'm somebody, I soak up as much heat and sun as I possibly can. I love the summer months just being able to throw on a tank top, some shorts, walk outside, and life is good. I don't have to worry about, is it too hot? Is it too cold? What's the weather going to be? In New England, it fluctuates daily, especially in the spring and fall months. I feel like winter is pretty much cold. Summer is pretty much hot. Um, but the spring and fall, man, oh, it's it's like bipolar weather. You really, one minute it's one thing, one minute it's the next thing. That's the one thing I don't like about the fall. But when it rolls around to September, I'm usually pretty ready for the change of season. So I just wanted to quickly show what behind the dresser looks like. I've not moved this probably since February, so it's quite dirty. Um, the back molding doesn't look too, too bad. Definitely some stuff I'm going to need to vacuum up. What I will say is we have the bookcase put together finally, and I'm actually gonna show you guys that really quickly because I don't know if I'm gonna get to the office space this go around, but that being said, it's put together, it's ready to go. Oh, oh my, too zoomed in, my bad. Um, ready to go for my son's room. So it goes really, really well. It's pretty much the color we wanted. It looks black, I think, on camera, but it's like dark espresso, whatever the heck they called it. Um, the espresso color they had. We got it at Target for $35, and it's basically the same height as the previous bookcase that came from my old house, and we're gonna move over a lot of the Disney books and books that I'm reading to my son over here, including what's in his room. We just need to decide where to put it. Um, and therein lies the problem, because I think in previous videos, I said, hey, I'm gonna put it where that shelf is. And normally, I think that'd be a great idea. However, that being said, um, we're struggling with the fact that there is the radiator there. So it fits very nicely over here and I still think it would look great, but we have to anchor it to the wall given my son's age and then you have the radiator there. So we're contemplating just putting it flush against that wall once we take that out and then having the dresser next to it. But there's still a few things we need to sort out on that end, but that we should be doing this weekend. So I'm gonna include that for maybe the next video or I'll just have a small video on Instagram. But I just wanted to show you guys the bookshelf is finally here. So again, I'm just cleaning up the moldings here. They're not too, too bad, but there's a little bit of dust there. So while I have the furniture moved, it's just easier for me to just go ahead and vacuum those areas, especially this dresser is kind of heavy. There's not a ton in it, but the weight of the furniture itself, it's heavy for me to keep moving back and forth. So I'm very thankful for the carpet. Eventually this will be probably all wooden floors and things like that. And we'll have to put those little, um, the felt things on the bottom of the furniture just to be able to move it but for now i enjoy the carpet it's very helpful when i need to move either the chair the furniture the bookcase it works out well
been chasing you like the tail of a dog I don't get no sleep when we kiss in the dark like we do I just love the way it feels Yeah, I know it's bad but I can't resist When I look in your eyes I don't know what is real So like I said before, it's a little bit darker in his room now because it's in the evening. This is still the same day though. I just had to wait for my camera to charge, but I went ahead and vacuumed up his room. Um, I'm hoping that if and when I finally do get my carpet or upholstery cleaner, I'm able to go in and deep clean his room with the carpet, as well as a few other items in the house. But for now, it, it, it does an amazing job. I have no complaints about my shark vacuum. It really does pick up quite a bit. There was a lot of crumbs on the floor. We don't usually let my son eat in his room, but as of late, he's been struggling to sleep. So he did have some snacks and milk the other day, late at night, just before he went down. Um, but yeah, it was nice to finally clean that up. Alright guys, so this is the finished product for my son's room. I think it came out really, really nice. It's nice and airy. Um, the water wasn't overly dark when I was done um, with the walls and moldings and such. Like I said, I'm going to hit the radiator um, with my husband this weekend when we put in his bookcase. It's really tightly against the wall, so I need some help kind of taking it off just so I can vacuum it up. But I will be vacuuming the other radiators, the ones I've removed like in the bathrooms and stuff like that. But his room, step one, checked off my list. <laughs> All right, so this is day two, and I wanted to focus in on my son's bathroom. So anytime I clean the bathrooms or I'm doing a really deep clean, I mean, it takes me a while. This took me probably a little over an hour to totally clean, and it takes me a little bit longer because I'm maneuvering the camera and other items. But nonetheless, I was happy it got done. Again, this bathroom doesn't have a ton of traffic in it. We've Again, we're trying to be consistent with the potty training, so I did need to really clean this toilet because he has been using it a little bit more often. So I did just get the Sentiva wipes, and so far I like them. It's pleasant, it smells like coconut, it smells like summer. Um, so I'm not gonna be mad about that. But for this, I decided to use the Clorox with bleach because, you know, it's urinating, or if he has to move his bowels, it's gonna be in there. So I wanted to make sure that I cleaned that really well, disinfected it, so I could move on to the rest of the bathroom. So again here, I'm pretty much doing the same thing. I did obviously have to change out the water, but I wanted to really wipe down the walls. It took me two buckets full of water, meaning I had to change it um, twice, the water, because it was just so dirty. And that goes to show you, we really don't use this bathroom all that much, but yet the dirt and the grime are still there on the walls. And really, I only clean the walls like this twice a year. It's usually in February and then in August. Like I said, I started a little bit early because I do have to go back to work. I've already been to work a few times doing health records, but really when August rolls around, it's crunch time for us because yes, we've already have the health records done. There's late admissions, but we're also getting the office ready to be up and running. This is looking at supplies, ordering, making sure we have our plans all set, making those phone calls to parents that have medically complex kiddos. There's a lot that goes on. So I wanted to make sure that this was done. And I focused on the heavier areas. As you guys can see here with the fan, it's pretty dirty. So I really didn't do it justice in this. I went back a little bit later in the day and just kind of cleaned this up a little bit more with some help of my husband to really get it deeply cleaned. But if this is something you haven't done in a while, I highly encourage either to really wash it down with some warm soapy water or definitely to vacuum it out. All right, so I just wanted to quickly show you guys. I'm taking apart the radiator, and I do this like twice a year. Um, so this hasn't been cleaned in about six months, and this is the buildup from the six months. It's not horrendous by any means, but it definitely needed to be cleaned, and I want this like wiped down, vacuumed well before the winter months and we turn on the heat. That being said, it in New England, you can turn on the heat anywhere in October. Um, sometimes September if it's that cold, but usually October, November time frame. Some people hold it out, but let's go ahead and get this real clean. 
So the radiators here, I mean, they were dusty, but it definitely wasn't that bad. Like I said, my son's room wasn't, um, I didn't put the radiator on camera just because it was really tightly to the wall. I needed help to take it off. So my husband helped me with that, but that wasn't too bad. This bathroom was definitely a lot worse. And again, this is done twice a year. I'll probably do this again in February, take everything apart, wash it down, vacuum it. Um, but it's definitely something I like to do again before the autumn and winter months before the heat comes on. It's just that peace of mind knowing that there's not a ton of dust or crumbs, hair elastics, God knows what in the radiators and that the heat can just run with no issues. So again, I'm pulling out those Sentiva wipes and really just wiping down the counter. This isn't too bad. If anything, it has a little bit of toothpaste from my son and some spit up or, no, well, not spit up, just spit like on the mirrors and, and the sink. So I really wanted to give that a good clean. And again, so far I'm enjoying the wipes. They smell really nice. In terms of cleaning, I would say it's probably doing a fair job. What are your thoughts on the Sentiva wipes? Do you guys notice any difference? Is it just a nice smell? What are your thoughts? Let me know down below. So last but not least, in this bathroom, I'm just gonna go ahead and spray down the tub. I really wanted to disinfect this. It's been a hot minute since I've actually disinfected it. So I let that sit for a little bit before I went ahead and started really brushing it out. I call it brush, but you know, a scrub brush to really get the dirt and other particles off of the base of the tub. That's primarily where most of the dirt is. There's not a lot of dirt or anything really on the walls, occasionally a hair or two. But I went in and gave this a good scrub and then I basically just rinsed it off after and it looked amazing. I mean, it has that really chemically smell, but at least I know it's been deeply cleaned and I don't have to worry about it in regards to my son. All right, everybody, so this is the finished product, top to bottom, for my son's bathroom. It took me a little bit over an hour because I had to take a few breaks in between a few things that I had to do, but this is pretty much what it looks like. Everything got clean, walls, moldings, a radiator, and I added my little pumpkin in. Yes, I know it's tail end of July, I don't care. Teeny tiny fall accent, teeny tiny. So the shower's done as well, and I just went ahead and set everything up for tonight for my son. So we have his little bathtub that he still sets, um, sits in, so we're not wasting all that water in the regular tub, his little shower caddy. 
um, and his toilet. So that is the finished product. On to the next one. So the last place I wanted to do for today anyways is the hallway. I figured let me wash up all these walls, get everything off the walls, give it a good clean, and then the vents my husband did just because you have to go on a ladder and I'd rather have somebody with me when I'm on that ladder or if I'm on a chair, especially with the stairs being right there. So I just felt more comfortable with him doing that, but no, that's not on camera. <laughs> Again, I had to charge my camera. It doesn't hold a long charge. Something I'm going to have to invest in is like one of those wires to for a continuous charge, but nonetheless. So went ahead and did the walls, and these weren't ridiculously dirty um, for right now. I think when I hit these again in February, February is when I see the most dirt because I've got candles and different things running in the house, but for now I just wanted to give it a quick clean. And again, I did this over the course of two days. Typically I'd be cleaning Monday through Wednesday, but I did have some things to do on the Monday that didn't allow me to start my cleaning journey or to film. So after all the walls were done, I went ahead and started on the moldings and then the stairs. I just like giving this a quick wipe down. Usually where I find the majority of dirt or like hairs or buildup is on these little, the moldings there. Um, and for me, I, I just like to have that clean. It's not something I do every time I clean the hallway, but when I'm doing walls and stuff like that, to me it makes the most sense to have that cleaned up as well. So there's nothing, you know, left over. There's no debris or heavy dust left over. So let me know how often are you guys cleaning your stairs or the railings, anything like that. Do you just usually give it a quick dust or do you wipe it down with a certain uh, wood cleaner? What are you guys using for your railings? I'd like to know because I feel like sometimes this doesn't give it as deep of a clean as I'd like, but I mean it gets the job done. All right, so this is bringing us to the end of the video. I hope that it encouraged you and motivated you to get some type of deep clean done or any type of cleaning really. My focus was to try and get things done obviously before the fall season, but there'll be more videos upcoming for you. I'm making this a mini series. So I'll see you in my next video on Friday. Bye guys.